What's up, buddy? Welcome back to a brand new video on Forgotten Trades Channel. Today we are exploring an abandoned Air Force retirement home. Now, this place was the building we're in currently was originally built in the 1850, and there's a lot of other hospital buildings on campus. There's like probably two newer ones, but at the moment we're in the older Air Force building. And when this first opened up, this was used for soldiers during the Civil War and Pearl Harbor and basically all those wars in that time period. And at one point, this was along for it being a hospital, it was also used as an asylum for soldiers and veterans, and then it turned back into a hospital before its closing. I'm not quite sure when this particular building shut. The newer ones I know shut in 2013 or so, but over the years, it served a bunch of patients. But I'm very excited about this one because it has the bell tower. You can get to a bell tower. But you also, my favorite part, which I'm definitely gonna look forward to, is an operation theater, which I'm really looking forward to finding. But getting here was a mission. It was, it was quite the trek to get to this spot. But we've, we're here, and we're gonna explore this place. So without further ado, guys, hope you guys enjoy this exploration, and let's get into it. The first room we got right here, it's like a file room. But the thing is, all this, all everything basically is left here. Like, they would have done teeth moldings right here. It's crazy. Like literally everything is forgotten here. Like they, they would have held like records and stuff right here. There's like office chairs. And apparently from what I've heard, there's also power. Um, now that video was recorded three years ago. I don't know if there's still power to this building or the buildings in general, but I was told there's still power in some parts of this building, which is crazy to think about. A building to, with, this de with this deterioration has power, it's crazy. Now this place is massive, there's lots of rooms. The majority of the rooms are gonna be like copy and paste for the most part. I'm trying to find like the, the very cool rooms that have like operation stuff in it. But like it's crazy because like, they basically left every information here. Like basically everything about these veterans, the documents, everything's just left here in this facility. And even the architecture is cool. Um, we walked past um, a window down here in this hallway. So you guys see it kind of has like this spider web framing window. You don't get that stuff anymore. Like, look at that natural light coming in. The way it like, fills up the room, it's amazing. Oh, there's the hallway. I was looking at one of the hallways. Yeah, just look at that. The way that's colored, that's absolutely amazing. You guys see, this is the main entrance right there. This is probably where you would check in. But like, there's so many good hallways. Like this hallway alone is crazy. And like, there's no vandalism. Barely anyone knows about this spot. That's the, that's the cool thing about this too. This has been decaying here for years and not that many people have been here. There's like no vandalism, this is all just natural decay. And down here, I think is one, one of the more well-known shots, one of the famous shots. Is of this nursing service, right here. And then, you got this bed, that is absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely kind of like in a style and styled architecture right here. It's crazy. Got the bed right there. Got this room right here too, which is also part of the nursing. Still got the blinds right there. Like there's so much here that I like. It's such such a good spot. Such a good hidden gem in my opinion. But yeah, as you see right here. Yeah, 
really good. It still has like all the labels and stuff. So they would have like kept stuff in here. Like these are names. Probably like a mail room because this is graded. This is might have been a mail room or some kind of office for sure. But yeah, I don't think there's much else down here. Just offices. There's these rooms as well, guys. But there's so much more if you guys see. There's that little tunnel system right there which connects you to this building, which has a massive cafeteria in it, but also connects you to this one, which I've been told, if we lift the camera up here, you can see better. I've been told this building right here has a theater inside of it. And right over there, that building, right there, that building, in between, that's the new one that shut down in 2014. So there's like so much stuff to find. And the cool thing is, again, you don't have to like worry about like going outside and going back in. These are all connected. So once you're inside one building, you're going to be inside all the other ones. Look at this open room right here. That's crazy. It's probably used for like entertainment. You know? Yeah, because you got like a call system right here. So I'm pretty sure this is where like all the patients hung out and like played games and just chilled. Oh, there's this room. But this is just a medical room, I think. I don't think this is a morgue. Because like, a lot of people were saying this was a morgue, this room, but yes. yeah. Yeah, this is just like medical stuff. Because people were like, I don't know, but like people were saying it was on I mean, online, but it's it's not. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So to everyone who thought this was, it's obviously not. It's most likely where they hid like medicine. It's a cool room, but definitely not more than what people saying it was. But yeah, as you see, people are here from Pearl Harbor. Um, World War II. So like this hospital dates back to like some very historic you know, places. But yeah, look more entertainment halls right here. A whole bunch of just clutter. Wow. Just storage for like maintenance it seems like. Yeah, there's more rooms right here. Oh, there's that magazine that people have been finding. It's a little magazine about guns. And then there's all this other magazine right here, which dates back to 1997. Oh, that's cool. That old TV. So I walked in this bathroom, guys, and it looks like, I don't know if this is a hydrotherapy tub. It's probably not. It's definitely a tub. But there's another one right here as well. You got your nozzle right there, which is probably used for like washing the patients. Oh yeah, we know this one actually has a badge on it. It may have been a hydrotherapy tub, but I'm not 100 certain. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But it, that could be what it is. Or just another type of bathtub. 
Oh, wow. More open rooms. It looks like that each room here was like its own little, like it was a massive room and then they turned each of it into like its own little cubicle. And they each probably had their own style bed. Bunch of crazy stuff left behind. There's this machine as well, which I have no idea what it did, but... There's still some test tubes. And whatever that is, it's still in the bottle. There's these rooms here. I think these are all just like old, open patient rooms. Probably. You got a bed in the corner. That's what it looks like. Probably to locate all, like, probably the patients. Probably the location for each patient was on that board. We'll go up there in a second. You guys will very like what's up there. But before we do, let's check out this hallway. Relatively quickly. There's another one of these rooms, I think. Yeah, this one even has a little fridge. But yeah. Again, probably usually just use the whole medicine. Just a bunch of names. Somewhere in here, we may have already walked by it, but there's paper documents that tell you like, basically like the death certificate of the patient. Got this nice hallway right here. More wheelchairs. Which I really like. There's one there. One right here. And a perfectly lit room out here. Look at that, that's perfectly lit. There we go. But yeah, that's beautiful. And then we walk past another room, which basically has like, kind of like, I don't know how to describe it, but you would use it to like hoist patients out of bed. Just a little hoist right here. A bunch more lockers. More test tubes. I have no idea what they are used for. Oh yeah, you got this whole bed right here with a crane, a wheelchair, and a scale. Just a bunch of cool stuff still left in this hospital. Oh, that's a nice room with the hospital beds in the blue. Uh, that looks nice. So I, there. I think all these rooms left the beds in here. That's what it looks like. Yeah, there's no one right there. Yeah, there's another corridor right here. Probably the least interesting one. But it has the most amount of light. And even if you look at this window right here, this place has a little small gazebo. It's very nice. Well built, that's all made out of like stone. This place is impressive, honestly. Out of all the abandoned places we've been to so far this year, I'm gonna say this is probably the most impressive one. Now that we've seen all this stuff, most of these hallways, we're gonna show you what I'm very looking forward to, which is the Operation Theater. It's the next spot, and then after that, we're going to head over to the other hospitals. Um, we may go to the basement this one, but I don't think there's much in there. But now let's go. Let's go find our way to the operation theater. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> You found it, guys. And up here, there's also headsets and stuff, I believe. Um, yeah. There's this medicine right here. Which I don't think it's even medicine, it says 
poison on it. You got the operation light up there. Right down there was the table. And right down here as well, they probably where they kept up the medicine and stuff. It looks like people have staged it since people have been coming here. But it's not much, you know, down there it's just like storage and stuff. Same thing up there. So now we're going to be taking those stairs and that should lead us all the way up there and that will lead us to the bell tower. As you guys see, that's the outside of the amphitheater. Not amphitheater, but like dome. That's the outside and like they try to get as much natural light as possible because they're trying to get from these windows. But yeah, as you see, it's a bird's eye view of it. That's absolutely amazing. Oh wow. I gotta stop letting my nerves get the best of me and just do shit. I mean, this is sketchy as so. hell. It is, yeah, definitely. But like, I gotta stop. It's definitely like, worth it though, yeah, with the I'm view you're gonna get. Me. Now oh, guys, we are officially in the bell tower. Just climbed all those stairs. Just to get that view. I'm pretty sure if you rotate this bar, it was change the hands on that clock. You yeah, see, the hand's still to rotate. You can get like this and the bell in the back, I mean the clock in the back. Yeah. And that's the machine that powered the whole thing. Oh my gosh. But now since we checked out this building guys, we're going to be heading off into the tunnels, into the next building. I think we saw everything that we need to see here. Okay, we're in the basement right now very quickly because I just remembered that there's dentist uh, rooms down here. But once we got down here, we found this vending machine and it looks like it still has the cans still in the machine just rustling away. Why this room is just full of wheelchairs. The heck? Oh, wow. A nice fan up there, but yeah. This is probably where they probably worked on and repaired wheelchairs. So guys, we made it to the second building. We took a different wing um, down. We didn't, we didn't take the main one, which is that one right there. But right here, you guys see it's a massive kitchen like look at that and this still has some of the um, machines here not a lot but it still has some of your usual stuff yeah Probably a coffee machine. And look at this. Oh my gosh. That is a lot bigger. A much bigger kitchen. Has everything still here, stoves, ovens. Because they, they house a lot of people here, so they, they needed, looks like two full size kitchens. Because again, they housed a lot of patients here when it was in use. So that's incredible. And then down here is probably the lunchroom. 
this would have been the lunch room right here. They would have been assigned a table, it looks like. And then your food would have been put on this platter right here. But yeah, this, for the, for the size of that kitchen, I feel like the lunch room's a little small. But again, it's not a terrible size lunch room. You know, especially when you have everyone in here at certain times of the day, they're probably not gonna be in here all at once. It's a decent size to lunch room. It's just more, oh, it's more seating. It's the original seating. Right here. This is a third kitchen. Wow. So they had three kitchens. They had like a side kitchen and then two main ones. One in there and then one over there. Right there. So there's not much here. All the floors above us are just going to be patient rooms. So we just like try the. Cafeteria and some stories here. Got a mailing room. See in there they would have got all the mail. So this is the more recent hospital that they used before they shut down. And the only reason this place shut to my knowledge was because like it just became too expensive to live here. So they just moved everyone out. But yeah, this is the old lunch room of this more modern hospital. <coughs> so yeah, this would have been like, I think a lounge but it was also a library, because also because of the books back there. But yeah, I don't think anybody dragged that out here. Was... No. Oh, there's a pool table back here. It's a pretty well conditioned pool table. Looks like it has the balls and the, and the nets, but. It's cool. It's a good oh, pool table. Little, um, that's a nice new thing. I would take that home. <laughs> yeah, that's like... Take that home and clean it up. So it seems like we're back in the main lobby. We were trying to find the stairs to like get higher if possible just to see what there is. Not much. There either isn't stairs and they only use elevators, which doesn't really make sense. Um, well, they're just very well hidden. Um, so I think we're done. We basically did what we wanted to do, which was this floor and the floor underneath us, which was the cafeteria. So now we're going to see if we can find a way into one of the other old hospitals so we can get to the theater. And then after that, I think we're done. But getting to it may be a problem because it looks like that they may have boarded it off, but we'll see what we can find. Yeah, this was the altar. This is very strange. Yeah. I mean, at least I still have a dynamic. Yeah, guys, if you're wondering where we are, right now we're back in one of the basements of the old hospital. And this room right here was the morgue. I know it doesn't really look like one, but this was the morgue. You can tell by the timing, there's a drain in the middle of the floor, yeah. It's not, your face. it's not your usual stereotypical morgue with the drawers, but this is what they had for a morgue. We're going to try to get inside the building that has the uh, auditorium, but the original way to get there, not able to access that at the moment, so we're going to try to do it um, externally by getting going back outside and then back into that building. Most likely the doors are going to be shut, but it's, it's worth trying it. Um, but I think we're mostly done here. There may be a few other things to show you guys, but I'm pretty sure this will mostly done with this exploration. We've been exploring now for like about maybe three and a half, four hours. Um, and we've seen mostly everything. There's probably a few things we're going to miss, but that usually happens with places like this. Um, but we're going to try to see if 
there's anything else we can find before we head out of here. But we're gonna go soon. Anyway, the sun is setting. And you don't really, really want to be in this area at night time. Why does this one strangely have power? Yeah, this is the weird one. This has like all the power in it. I thought it was the old hospital we were in that had power, but no, it was this one. Because I knew one of the hospitals had power. I didn't think it was going to be this one. <laughs> of course, somebody put it in there, but it's not going to look as good because the light's on. No, actually, that's it a cool It looks great. Light. I like that shot. It's a cool, creepy light, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's a bad one. It's an old pharmacy right here, I think. Let's just like boom, 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 do this quick. Like, yeah. we don't have to go in because these rooms aren't that interesting. Yeah, these are all patient clothes. You got an x ray room? Yeah, come in here so I can use the light. Yeah, it's a whole x ray machine. If you look behind you, there's actual x rays. Oh, I've seen somebody take a picture of that. Of that looks like a rib cage. Cool stuff. Ew, it's, there's chemicals in there. This thing. Yeah, there's an unopened. But yeah, as I pointed out, got a rib cage x rays right there. And then you have a whole machine right here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, this is like the... Well, I don't think there'd be an artist on your bed. Nurses. This is the nurse room. You want to check the room up? These are stairs up. We can take those up there too. There's this stairs up. This is a big room. Would this be called the auditorium? No. I know, I know this, that would have, oh, this has the floor plans. Has this sculpture right here, which was the new campus that they are building. That's the new campus. Oh. That the. Where the fuck are we at? I don't know if this has been constructed yet. This yeah. was their plans, they had yeah. mapped out. They were planning, Four. this may be, I don't know exactly, but this is why this place shut down. One of the reasons is because of this. They just check these double doors. So this is with theater up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. I'm a genius. That's what we were looking for. I'm a, I know, dummy. I'm a genius. I'm a genius. It's me. Hi, I'm a yeah, this is very well kept. Now, if you guys have seen older videos, like for example, Josh's video, he came here three, four years ago. The lights still worked. I don't know, they still do. And this is back of the stage. Nothing really that fascinating. There's that parking lot out there. We don't want to be spotted by them. Ooh, there's some good stuff in here. An old sewing machine. And a very old tape recorder. Okay guys, so you see we're in an auditorium. There's a way to get up there. Okay, so if you guys see my light reflecting off that thing right there, those are, those are theater cameras. 
So there's a way up there. So they left the cameras in here. So there's that, and I think we're good because I think we've seen everything else. This? Yeah, this is it. Or keep going. This is it. This is what we want. These are all projectors. Um, now, like yeah. So at one point these still worked, but I don't think. Yeah, I don't think these work anymore. But at one point they still did. That's how many hours I played. Oh shit. But yeah, these are the theaters. You know, it has its tape raw and everything. But yeah, this is probably in the in the better con best condition. But yeah, I think we gotta go now. We're limited on time. Sun's basically going, um, and we still have to a ways back from where we came from. Okay, guys. So that concludes the exploration here. We saw everything we needed to see. The only thing we missed was the dentist offices. But other than that, we saw everything. We saw everything inside the old hospital. We saw everything we needed to see inside the new one. And all the other hospitals in between. But yeah, that's basically it for this. Hope you guys enjoyed this expression. Crazy one, probably one of my favorite hospitals to explore in general. It's, it's up to a forest haven, but it's much better condition than forest haven. So it's probably the best hospital I've explored. But yeah, that's basically it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys next time. Bye.